हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल वी आर डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक एल्जेब्रिक्स एक्सप्रेशंस आइडेंटिटी ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर लेट अस डू आंसर डिस्कशन फॉर कॉन्सेप्ट टेस्ट टू सो हियर फाइव ए प्लस 2a plus 5b, 2a plus 5b whole square. I am writing here direct answer. So first term whole square. So first term whole square plus 2 into first term into second term plus second term whole square. And this will give you 4a square plus 2 to the 4, 5 is the 20 a b plus 25 b square. Similarly, you can solve this one also. So first term whole square plus 2 into first term into second term plus second term whole square just Write down the answer. Nine x is to the power nine plus two three is a six six two is a twelve. So twelve x cube y cube plus two square will be four y is to the power three multiplied by two will give you six. Now find the value one hundred and nine square. So how can you write down one hundred and nine? The first thing. This whole square we can write down this hundred plus nine whole square. Again use the identity hundred square plus two into hundred into nine plus nine whole square. So this will give you ten thousand plus nine to the eighteen into hundred one thousand eight hundred. Plus nine square will be eighty one. So if you have any doubt for adding directly, it's better to write down the numbers in rough column and add this to avoid the mistake. So this is one eight eight one one. So eleven thousand eight hundred eighty one is the answer. Now my today's identity is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. How to read this? First term minus second term whole square. So first term whole square minus 2 into first term into second term plus second term whole square. So what is the difference between first identity and second identity? First identity here it was the plus sign and here also plus sign. Second identity if this sign is minus, so middle sign will be minus. So let us start with the example. 3m minus 5 and 3m minus 5. So this will give you 3m minus 5. Whole square, and we will use the identity over here again. Writing identity is compulsory. I am not writing, but you are supposed to write every time. So, what is the identity? First term whole square minus two into first term into second term plus second term whole square. So, nine m square minus. Two three is a six. Six five is a thirty. M plus twenty five. All three are the unlike terms. We cannot add. This is the answer. Come for the second sum. N minus two two times. What does it means? N minus two whole square. Since minus sign is there, it means we will use second identity. So what is the second identity? First term whole square minus two into first term into second term. Plus second term whole square. So write down this n square minus two two is a four n plus two square is four. All three are unlike terms. So this is the answer. Now 
again middle sign is minus so we will use the second identity so what is the second identity here 2x square minus 5y cube whole square what is the identity first term whole square minus 2 into first term into second term plus second term whole square आपने ध्यान दिया होगा मैं बोलती जा रही हूँ first term second term और लिखते समय actual जो दिया हुआ है वो लिख रही हूँ so two square is four x raised to the power four minus two two जा four four five जा twenty x square y cube plus five square will be twenty five y raised to the power three two जा six Again here, middle term is minus. So we are going to use your second identity. So second identity also your middle term will be minus. So what is the identity? First term whole square minus 2 into first term into second term plus second term term whole square so 3 square will be 9 m raised to the power 4 minus 2 3 is a 6 6 4 is a 24 so 24 m square n square plus 4 square will be 16 n raised to the power 4 all are unlike terms so this is the answer now same identity we can use to find out the numbers also so how to write down 98 100 minus 2 whole square again minus sign is there in middle one so we are going to use second identity so 100 minus 2 whole square is equal to first term whole square minus 2 into first term into second term plus second term whole square so this will become 10,000 minus 2 to the 4 into 100 400 plus 2 square is 4 so when you will subtract this 9,600 you will get and then plus 4 so 9,604 will be the answer if you have any doubt ref column just subtract the numbers so 0, 0, this will give you 6, this is 9 and again add 4. Instead of doing mistake, it's always better to do calculation in the rough column and write down answer. Again here, x minus 1 upon x, it is given and you need to find out x square plus 1 upon x square. So we will start from here. So what is given x minus 1 upon x is equal to 7. So we can square both the sides because we require here square. So x minus 1 upon x whole square is equal to 7 whole square. Write down in bracket squaring both the sides. If you are squaring, so writing this is compulsory. Squaring both the sides. So just again use the identity first term whole square minus 2 into first term into second term plus second term whole square is equal to 7 square will be 49. So this x and this x is going to cancel. So x square minus 1 upon x square is equal to 49 minus 2 will become plus 2. So x square, sorry this sign will be plus. So plus 1 upon x square is equal to 51 and this and this you are supposed to find out. So what is the value of x square upon 1 plus x square is 51. This is concept test. Take your time and solve the sum. 
Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and also to watch my next video.